how, uh, how Whirlwind has all this seen and just then to, to go from walking on to starting, I mean, do you, how do you keep your head on straight? I mean, it's been an experience, but you just trust your talent, you trust the process, and you know what kind of talent you have, and you just trust it the whole time. Um, some people don't, most people, of course, don't get to play for one iconic college football program. You're going to get to play for two, and one of the most iconic logos in the history of the game right. on Saturday night. Just how, uh, is, can you put in words how excited, how long this I'm week just, probably seems? I'm just extremely blessed, and I grew up a Miami Hurricanes fan. I'm from Palm Beach Gardens, just right up the road. I used, I, I played Little League games in the Orange Bowl. I used to go to games in the Orange Bowl at the time, so to start at the University of Miami is just... This is a true blessing. It's a dream come true. Okay. Have uh, you heard from some of the kids at Dwyer? I I've mean, heard, how excited are I've they heard, about this? For they're you? really excited. Um, I have, you know, I'm, a lot of my family is going to be coming to the games. They didn't really get to come at Auburn because it's so far away. So, and my grandparents live in Miami. They live in Pinecrest. So, it's I'm excited. What's the reaction been like from the, uh, like? Is it text messages? Is it? Um, it's good been, luck, coach. I mean, it's been a lot. My phone's been blowing up, obviously, <laughs> since the announcement. And a lot of people I haven't really talked to in a while too, and then friends from high school hitting me up on Facebook that are big Miami fans. So. What about for you when when you found out that you were going to be starting? Um, was it just, just were you expecting it? Was it a surprise? Um, I kind of felt like it was coming okay. um, throughout camp. I felt like I was really doing what the coaches were asking me to do, but obviously just to see it in print is is, <laughs> is awesome. Gotcha. I just got here. You came from which school when you transferred to Auburn, Auburn University. Auburn, I thought. And you were a walk-on there. Yes. So what, how'd you wind up here? I mean, what was the process? I just, I just, I had to leave Auburn, and then I got the opportunity to join the University of Miami. And it was a dream come true. It's one of the things that uh, Al was telling us about was, you know, even though you're new to this program, you have experience. Right. You've been there. There's so many young guys that are going to be playing for the first time this weekend. What have you tried with your experience and your background to kind of try and ease them or, or talk to them, give them some advice? I'm um, just, you know, ignore the noise. I, mean, I went, won the division, played in the SEC championship game, so I've been where this team is trying to go and what they're trying to accomplish. So a lot of the younger guys and even some of the older guys are leaning on me for the experience and how to deal with the day-to-day -day challenges in the locker room and just trying to motivate the younger guys and keep them in trust the process. Now, why have you had so many coaches? I think Al said you had several head coaches. Oh, my you... first year I played for Gene Chizik, and then we went 3-9, and nine and he got fired. Right. Uh, we had an interim head coach until <laughs> Gus Malzahn got hired. So that was my third coach, and now we have Coach Gold. Now I have Coach Gold. So. Big, big difference. We're always hearing about the SEC and the SECs. It, you know, the ACC isn't quite up to snuff with the SEC. Um, I, mean, I think you guys saw from the bowl games, the top teams are the top teams in the country, and they can bowl anywhere at any given year. I wouldn't say that the talent is any different here than what it was at Auburn.